Hey mama, entrepreneurship is one heck of a ride. Now add motherhood to the mix and hold on sis, cause it's go get both it. I believe in working smarter, not harder, as you build your profitable, purpose-driven online business, generating wealth, creating massive impact, and building your legacy in between homeschooling, dirty diaper changes, and maybe sneaking in a nap with the kids. Hi, I'm Oninia Anike, mother of two and higher ed pro turned transformation coach and business strategist, international best-selling author and speaker. And I am on a mission to empower ambitious mompreneurs like you to get visible, show up authentically and unapologetically, take imperfect action, and learn proven strategies to start, grow, and skill wildly successful businesses online without having to sacrifice family, faith, freedom, trade time for money, or values for the vision. Join me each week on the Imperfect Mompreneur Coach Podcast for a simple, actionable step-by-step strategy on marketing, mindset, faith, motherhood, and entrepreneurship, all from a holistic perspective, because I believe that you can have it all, doing it God's way. You ready? Let's go. Hello, everyone, and welcome again to another episode of the Imperfect Mompreneur Coach podcast. I'm excited to have you here, but I'm even more excited because we have a guest with us who's going to be sharing tons of goodness. Her name is Robin and she's a certified life coach. And I'm gonna turn the floor over to her to share what she does and how she got into this entrepreneurial journey. Hi, thank you so much for having me. I'm super excited to be here. Yeah, I'm, I'm a certified life coach. And I specialize in helping Christian women find relief from just that hard to stop anxiety and that overwhelm, just so they can have the inner calm within. Because I believe as a Christian women that we are meant to live a life of, of power and love and, you know, as the Bible says, a sound mind. So I believe that is without that anxiety and that overwhelm that so many Christian women experience in a day-to-day basis. Okay. Thank you, Robin. So what inspired you to become a certified life coach? Yeah. So I unfortunately spent many, many years stifled by negative, uh, just really negative inner self-talk really for decades, you know, telling myself that I was unlovable and just letting that just kind of suffocating my life. And it was decades of, of severe anxiety and depression that led me, you know, hosp- in and out of hospitals and just really struggling with living life until I decided one day that I wanted more out of life, that life was, you know, meant to be lived. And for this point, I had tried, you know, I tried therapy, I tried self-help books, lots of prayer, lots of Bible reading, just all the things that I knew to do. And, and medication. At this point, I was on 11 prescription medications and at one point, and the doctor was wanting to put me on number 12. And I just decided that I wanted more out of life. And I wanted to create a different story for myself. And so that's when everything really started to change for me. And so now, today, I'm off 11 prescription medications. I've lost uh, over 70 pounds. And I freed myself from from depression and anxiety. And so I decided that that was too much to live and go through and not be able to share with other people just the freedom that I had experienced in helping other women get to that same point in their lives. That is amazing. Thank you for sharing. I'm wow. That's such an incredible story. And getting off of 11 prescription drugs and, you know, losing 70 pounds is no small feat. So that's incredible that you're able to do that. And just the, the, the way God works in our lives to, to turn that around. And I love that you said, yeah, helping others who were in the same state and situation you were in making the decision to, to start working towards something differently and having you as their guide who, who's been through it to coach them and, and pull them through. That's that's so incredible. So where you are right now in your business, what are some lessons you've learned from the entrepreneurial journey? And you're a mama. So yeah, share that with us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I am a mom. So I'm a single mom of a little boy who's six at the moment that I adopted at birth. 
And that was just one, you know, that adoption process was just one of those life journeys that had you asked me a couple of decades ago, I would have thought you were crazy, right? Like I could barely survive the day to day. And so not only am I peaceful and happy, but I'm, I'm living these parts of life that I never imagined. One of those being, you know, a mom. And so there is a, a ton to handle when I work a full-time job, I have my own business, I'm a full-time mom, I, you know, my faith is important to me. And so when you're, when you try to add all those together, it can oftentimes become overwhelming. And as you know, being overwhelmed just produces, it's a lack of production, right? And so I am using the things that I learned in those years of coming through and, you know, not only is, is the depression and anxiety gone, but also learning those same tools to not be an overwhelm and just take life one step at a time and try to enjoy the journey as I'm on it. Oh, that's incredible. So you have tools that you use to help with the overwhelm. So yeah, so you just shared like your full-time mama, you have a business and you have a little one and you're doing this as a single mom. So that's really incredible. How do you, do you take time for self-care? How do you do that? And then how do you manage and balance all of that? Yeah. And you know, the self-care thing, I think is probably something that I've definitely had to be very proactive about because as I mentioned with all that on my plate, it's very easy for me to put that at the back of the burner. But what I've learned is that I can't be my best until I, you know, take care of myself and well as well. So what that means for me is getting it's it's getting to bed early and then getting up early because that is when I'm the freshest and every morning it's for me it's so important to spend time in the Bible and journaling is a huge thing for me and getting that exercise in. So those are three huge things for me. And I do those before my my son wakes up because once the day starts, it starts and hardly slows down till bedtime. Oh yeah. I bet it does. <laughs> I can really, yes. Get it all done before they wake up because after that, it's all about them. <laughs> yes. Yes. And does your son, is he in school right now with everything going on or is he virtual learning? He is virtual learning, but I am blessed that my mom is a huge help. And so she lives really close to us and she's been doing the virtual learning with him. So that's been a huge help. Oh, yes. That is definitely a blessing to have family that can help you you know, take care of the little ones while you're <laughs> while you're focusing on the job and your business. That's amazing. Thank you for sharing. You dropped some gold nuggets there. So if someone were to to work with you, what are three major takeaways or things that they would get? Yeah. So I think really the first thing is there's some thought work about believing that they're worth it. Right. So I think people are on varying levels of their belief and their their inner self-talk and, and what they're telling themselves and what they want out of life. And so I that's one of the huge things that we dive into. Because I believe when women know their value, who they are in Christ, and they believe that internally, then they their light really shines and it helps them shine on the problems that they deal because we all have problems, right? We all have things that come through life. So believing that you're worth it is a huge thing. And then really the second thing for me is is called a thought loop. It's a, it's a tool that I put into process for my clients that helps them be able to identify easily, more easily what it is that they're thinking versus what is actually happening in life. Because the challenges in life are not so much what we usually think they are. It's really our thoughts. And it's the story that we're telling ourselves about those challenges that creates our feelings and our actions and our results and the life that we want. And so really teaching that tool. So usually my clients come for me for, you know, anxiety or depression, but I work with all, all types. And the cool thing is what I teach them, they can apply to all different areas of their life. And the third thing really seems so simple, but so much of life and our thoughts is really about a choice. And when I'm able to show my clients what they're creating for themselves, they more often are ready to choose something that's going to serve them better. 
And so that becomes a huge takeaway for my clients because they're not just seeing life as it is, but they're seeing what they want it to be and they're choosing to live a life that will bring that about. That is incredible. You and I are exactly on the same page because that's exactly what I share with my audience is, you know, your thoughts are a choice and you make a decision into which direction you are going to take action in. And so, yes, this is so, so powerful. Such amazing work. So Robin, if someone wanted to work with you, where could we find you? Yeah, the, the best way right now is by email. So it's rmore, R-M-O-O-R-E, at robinmorecoaching.com. And Robin is spelled with a Y. So it's R-O-B-Y-N-M-O-O-R-E, coaching.com. Amazing. All right, y'all, it will be in the show notes so that you can get in contact with Robin if you want to work with her and do the amazing work that she does. So thank you so much, Robin, for taking the time out of your day. To come and share with us your powerful work. We look forward to learning more about you and to following you on your entrepreneurial journey. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, Mama, if you're loving this podcast, finding yourself motivated or inspired, learning something new, or just a fan of the show, do me a favor and help me spread the message to more women. Subscribe, rate, and leave a review. Then take a screenshot and post it on Facebook or Instagram stories and tag me at Oninye C. Anike so that we can empower and equip more mompreneurs with the strategies and tools to show up perfectly imperfect and win both in life and business. Until next time, stay blessed.